I haven't worn matching socks one day for 14 years. They're always the same thickness, which is very important. <laughs> so in the book Purple Cow, I talk about a company called Little Mismatch that's not for everybody. It's for 12-year-old girls, but not all 12-year-old girls. It's 12-year-old girls with a fashion problem. And their fashion problem is they don't have enough to talk about during recess. Their mom's not going to buy them a new dress every day. So they can wear mismatched socks to school. They're not early adopter enough to mismatch their own socks. They buy pre-mismatched socks. And then they can go to school and they can say to their friends, want to see my socks? And want to see my socks is their entire business model. And when I first discovered them, they had half a million dollars a year in revenue. And the last time I checked, they were at $40 million a year, selling socks that don't match to a tiny group of people who need a story to tell. And that in one, that's why my sock, I remind myself every day. But I don't wear that brand anymore because my kids rolled their eyes one too many times that I was wearing socks for 12-year-old girls. So <laughs> now I mismatch my own socks by buying adult socks. Um, I'm frustrated with AI and marketing because I feel like people think it's actually doing something more than just math. And AI now in marketing or the way, the way it's sold or pitched or um, yeah. uh, the way people are using it is really not AI at all. It's math. Um, it's these things over here are working better, so do more of that. Mm -hmm. These aren't, so do less of it. But we've changed that where, where I'm at and... You know, you're at an AI company. No, oh. I'm, at, I'm at a home improvement company. Okay, but we have kind of ditched persona marketing and AI, and at least the way it's deployed. Um, but everyone talks about it, and everyone's trying to use it the way they think it's working. But it's not. I don't know if you have any. Oh, I have a that. rant on every topic. I was a com <laughs> I was a computer science major, and loved science fiction, so there was a beautiful overlap. Here's the definition of AI that will be useful for everyone here. AI is everything a computer can't do yet. So as soon as a computer could play chess, we said, well, that's not AI, it's good at chess. But the things it can't do yet, that's going to be perfect and amazing. But you said one thing that isn't true. All computers do ever is math. That's all they know how to do. It's just we're bad at processing magic, and so we make up a story that the computer knows something, that the computer thinks something. There's a lot of air quotes going on. Mm. And it doesn't know anything. It doesn't think anything. It's just doing a lot of math really fast. So the way that AI is changing our world is by nibbling around the edges. So if you're a radiologist, there are no radiologists here, you're in big trouble because it turns out reading x-rays is math. And Computers are already good enough to do most radiology, and soon they're going to be better than any radiologist because it's just math. So if you spend all those years learning what you think of as heuristics and instincts, well, as soon as someone can write down what you know, a computer is going to do it cheaper than you. And so the art of this is to keep changing what you do so that no one can write it down, so you're always going to be ahead of what the computers do. Um, I am a licensed therapist and I do leadership development with Yes, okay. I do leadership development with entrepreneurial founders and you said the top two things that a child needs to learn one is to be a leader So I'm curious. How would you define a strong leader? Leading and managing are not the same things they are as far apart as they could be managers get things done that were done yesterday, except they get them done faster and cheaper over and over and over again. Management is about compliance and power. We need management. Leadership is about none of those things. Leadership is about gaining enrollment, sharing a vision, and then trusting people to help you get there, even though you don't know how. Because if you knew how, it would be management. Right? And so leaders are wrong all the time until they're right. They're like a plane flying from here to San Jose. They're off course the whole way, and the pilot adjusts until she lands. That's leading. It's not managing. And what it takes to be a leader, then, is to see your own fear and to understand the narrative of the people you seek to lead to gain their enrollment. And Kelly has done some unbelievable work in talking about how we can do this, each one of us, inside the Alt-MBA, because it's about 
selling people not on why you are right, but on why we should all be enrolled in where we're going. And if you're good at that, it doesn't even matter if you were right, because the journey itself is a big part of what we signed up for, and we're willing to do it again. And so the reason that entrepreneurs need therapists is not because of management, it's because of leadership. Managers don't need therapists. Managers just need to be more clear. But leadership in a place where you have to get people's buy-in and can't order them around, that is hard work. So let's do one last question that feels like a good capstone. Do you feel like it's a good capstone? Own it. Go, go, go. Here's your microphone. Okay. So I'm about to be a marketing graduate from Chapman University, and I'm wondering what is your best advice about how I should differentiate myself from all the other marketers? Okay, number one, differentiation is selfish. Differentiation says, how do I get more than my fair share? The real thing is to say, what problems can I see that other people have that I can solve for them that other people aren't willing to solve for them? That's different. That's service. That's generosity. But the second thing is... At this stage in your life, the single best way to learn marketing is to do marketing, not to get a marketing job. So, I know you need a job, go get a job, but in all of your spare time, because you've got seven hours a day that you're not watching TV or Facebook, for seven hours a day, do marketing for something you believe in, start a Shopify site, help a nonprofit, market, 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 market. Because if you want to get a job a year later, all these other Chapman grads are going to say, here's my resume. And you're going to say, I built a $2 million company. You want to see it? Or I raised $4 million for the local homeless shelter. You want to see? They're going to hire you because you understand how to help them solve their problem because you have done marketing. This is one of the only, you can't learn to do, be a surgeon by doing surgery, but you can learn to be a marketer by doing marketing. And you should immediately. <laughs>